Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision. I'm Kyle from Kyle's Game Room, and today we're taking a look at the 3DS XL Charging Cradle. Now, before we go over this, let's move it off to the side and go over a brief little history lesson about the original 3DS Charging Cradle. Now, the original 3DS Charging Cradle was bundled with your 3DS system, at least at launch, back when it was like $250. I'm not sure about the newer ones. If you have a newer one back when it was like $170, let us know in the comments really help us out but anyway here this came with your system it wasn't needed it doesn't really add any extra functionality it still charges your 3ds the same way but it was very very convenient for players like me that always kept our charger plugged in and forget to charge our system sometimes it's just right there you just plop it on and you're good to go now the way this thing works it's actually very very simple like all it is is just a giant piece of plastic with a little bit of wiring here there's a little pressure button right there and when you put your 3ds on there two gold prongs come out now if you take a look at the original 3ds there's two gold plates right there around the adapter now you could just normally charge your 3ds however I have an extra piece of plastic I want to be fancy so what you would do is you Take your normal 3DS charger and plug it into a wall, which I actually have mine plugged in. And here's the adapter. You turn your thing around, plug it in. Take your 3DS, just plop it on. And there you go, it starts charging. Very, very simple. Now, again, it's not convenient. No, 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 I take that back. It is convenient. But it's, I mean, it's not necessary. However, from personal experience, a lot of my friends have 3DSs, and for some reason, the chargers, at least my chargers, won't really work for them all that well. So, this charging cradle ends up being very useful. And if you end up losing it, for some reason, you could buy a new one at the store. But then, when the 3DS XL came out, I was all excited, and I looked at it, and I see two gold plates, but it never came with a charging cradle. So I was upset. What happened? Where's my charging cradle? So I dug around online and I ended up finding one. Now, how to get this? And there's multiple ways to try getting the, getting this. Now, the way that I got it was just through the Nintendo shop online. And it's about $19 plus shipping. But if you were lucky enough to get it off Club Nintendo where they had it in different colors, they actually had it in red, blue, white, green, and yellow. If you're lucky enough, you could have gotten it from there. However, they sold off really fast. Like, as soon as they were released, they sold out like five minutes after. It was god awful. And there's actually still some available in like Japan and Europe, I believe. But only like limited colors like yellow and stuff, but ugly colors like that. But now you can find those ones on eBay. Now the prices on them, they are all over the place. I actually saw a blue one before I started recording for $25, which is actually a really, really good deal and I almost want to pick it up. However, I already got this one and I don't need another one just to have a prettier color. Now the way that it works is exactly the same. And before I go off how it works, I'm going to continue with my story on how to get it. Now you could have gotten it through the online store, Club Nintendo. Or if you were impatient and you didn't want to go out of your way to get it from the online shop, you could have gotten one off eBay or something or Amazon where it came with a foreign charger like a European charger, which is not convenient because here the European chargers are not compatible with US outlets. So you have a wasted charger, so you just got to throw that one away. So I went out of my way to order one from the online store. Now, it is really inconvenient to try and order one. You really have to go out of your way to get it. It's annoying. And it's really annoying how they're not even available in stores. Like, the originals, which were bundled with your system. Fine, fine. I don't know how the economy works. But anyway, let's take a look at this new charging cradle. Now, this one's black, so it's the plain old boring one. Alright, so as you can tell, we have a little etching out on how to properly place your 3DS XL on this thing, which I will be showing off really soon. And then we have a headphone jack cut off right here, so 
if you want to listen to your music or watch Netflix or YouTube and you want to charge your system on a charging cradle because you have a fancy piece of plastic, there you go. And as you can tell, you still have a pressure plate right here which releases two gold prongs so it works exactly the same as the other one. On the back, you got the little adapter piece. On the bottom, it's very hollow and actually kind of disappointing compared to the original. On the original, I know mine's really filthy, so I apologize for that, but it's a flat surface. They make it look like, oh, this is a very solid piece of thing. However, they get rid of that. The only solid piece of thing is up here. So, I guess they wanted to use lots of plastic, so thank you, Nintendo, for going green. And on the back of the original, there's also a little flap. And that was used to get you to your your game and your, your stylus. I apologize for stuttering. I know I'm bad at making videos. But anyway, this one is just for getting to your game. Because the stylus is on the side now. But, well, let me show you how it works. It's very simple, just like the original. You get your adapter. How you doing? Plug it in. There you go. Make sure the cord doesn't get on here because then it won't sit right. And then you just plop it on, bottom first, let it go, and there, there it is. Your 3DS XL is charging on a fancy piece of plastic. <laughs> now, I got this mainly because I keep forgetting to charge my 3DS. And plus, I just love how convenient it is because I always have my charger plugged in. And this is just there. It's pretty much wireless. It's pretty. Now... Would I recommend you picking up one? That really all depends on you. If you end up getting the new 3DS XL, it's not going to be compatible with this. The new one's going to have its own little charging cradle, which is actually kind of weird. I don't like it. Here is not even going to be a charging cradle like this. Here, how it's going to have it set up, it's just going to be a little thing that pretty much stands your 3DS XL upside down, which is weird. I want something like this. This is more convenient. At least I know the Japanese ones are going to be like that. I'm not sure about the American ones. They're probably going to be the same, just like these. But, well, not my, like these, but I mean, like, here, these are the same as the ones in Japan. And probably the Japanese ones for the new 3DS are going to be the same in America. So, we're going to have those weird ones that are going to make this upside down. Which I don't like. So, if you plan on getting a new 3DS XL, skip this for now. I just wait until that comes out and then track down an XL charging cradle for that. And it's probably going to be an even more of a pain in the butt just like this. Where you have to go out of your way to the Nintendo store to order from there instead of going to a store like Walmart and just picking it up from there. Which I'm kind of ashamed of Nintendo for doing that because since they did that for the regular 3DS charging cradle which was bundled with your system and you could pick up a replacement at a store. Why couldn't you pick up an XL charging cradle at a store? I don't know. Nintendo can do what they want, I guess. But if you don't pick up the new 3DS XL, then go ahead. Pick this one up. But which one do I recommend you pick up? If you can get that blue one off eBay for $25, then you're super lucky. Other than that, I'd recommend getting the regular black one. Because the other ones usually go for a ridiculous price. Like... If you end up paying more than $30, you're, you're ripping yourself off. So, yeah, personally, I recommend waiting until the new 3DS XL comes out and then get the charging cradle for that. Also, there is a CirclePad Pro for the XL. Again, you have to order it through the online store. So, again, it's not really all that convenient, but fine. So, if you like the sound of my voice and you like Hyrule Warriors, over at Kyle's Game Room, I'm doing a Let's Play on Hyrule Warriors. I have a lot of parts up right now. I think I have like 12 or 13 parts as of this recording. And I recommend you go check that out. And if you don't like the sound of my voice, well, you can stay here on Peripheral Vision Gaming. And I recommend that you subscribe. Both here and my channel. Because subscriptions mean a lot. We really do appreciate it, guys. And if you want to order one yourself, I will send Eric a link to where you can pick it up. I'll, I'll give you the link to the one that I have. And I'll also provide a link to the blue one. So if you want to order that one, so it can match this. Because I would love to actually have the, the blue one, just so it can match mine. But whatever, whatever. 
So, as Eric likes to say, later days.